Hello, YouTubers, and welcome back to Let's Play Bridge Construction Set with your host, Shenra. We left off uh, a little bit of a Star Wars No Scream when we saw what was in store for us for Complex 8. It's an extremely long bridge. We have a big budget to do it on, but damn, it's still a long-ass bridge. I'm not really looking forward to this one. My goodness. Let's get our basics out of the way. We need to build some deck. And yes, this is the super lazy but the efficient way to build deck. Oops. Alright, so our deck is done. So we only have 220,000 left to spend. Well, So we could do an arch here, and then a big arch here, and then an arch here. Well, we could try to do suspension, but I don't know. Suspension might be really difficult on this one. And just because the trains come from opposite ends, I think it'd be very wobbly. It right, doesn't mean it's not worth a shot. Alright, so we've got our thingies up here. That looks like a nice curve. That's what she said. Yeah, we're just doing the typical sawtooth pattern. Because it's very effective. So I think that's all the support we really need for that. Oh man, this is going to be a real pain in the ass. Look at that span. That is ridiculous. And it's two tracks deep. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Sometimes this game is ridiculously difficult. What the? God damn it. There we go. Wonder if we're gonna run out of money. This shit's expensive, man. Oh, 
Alright, so we're at the halfway point. Just copy, flip, and paste. Probably gonna want some kind of uh, support for these. Really, that should be enough. Alright, let's see how badly that stands up. <laughs> not even close to, st with to, to withstanding the pressure. Not even close. Let's try going a little higher. Like that. Still too much. Hmm. Jam and blast. <gasps> oh my goodness, that might actually do it. Alright, let's try... Copy paste. Looks good. Delete that. <gasps> oh my goodness, it stands up. Oh, okay, so it's this part down here that's weak now. That's fine. We'll fix it. Let's try it again. Yes! Alright, what breaks? What breaks? Yes, that's right, we need to do this. And this actually strengthens the uh, deck quite a bit because it relieves a lot of the squishing stress that is put on the deck by these cables converging. They get closer and closer together, and because the weight of the deck is spread across... well, whatever. I think I explained that reasonably well in one of the other videos, so... yeah. You put some beams in like this, and it will make the bridge more sturdy. End of story. Nice. Nothing broke. Everything's green. I like green. Alright, so let's turn off fast, put on slow, and let's run this shit and test, man. Yeah, baby. Yeah, baby. Now, here's where it gets interesting. Because all the these trains are coming from opposite sides, so all the extra weight is going to be on these two pieces. This one and this one. Let's see if we can withstand the, t the pressure. Yeah, it looks okay so far. I think we're good. Excellent. Fucking excellent. That wasn't as hard as I thought it would be. Still a pain in the ass, but, uh... You know, there you go. There's our bridge. I like it. Let's do it again. But this time we're gonna watch it from, uh...
good to me, man. Alright, well done. Fortunately, we haven't written an ending for this map pack. Blah, 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 blah. So we finished the complex map pack. So now, the only thing left to do is this pack called Extra. Okay, so here we have a budget of 30 grand. We can only use iron and cable. And this is a train bridge. And the uh, thing that they're not showing you is that there is no... They don't tell you. There's no anchor point down here where the train is. See the train comes from one side, goes to the other? There's no anchor point. The only anchor points they give you are up here on the wall. <laughs> so you're going to have to use cables to support your bridge down here. It's going to be interesting. So let's start off by giving ourselves some room to work with. Let's start a little higher. Is that going to work? That might do. Then you have to try to think what parts of this bridge do you need to support pretty damn well. something a little like this. And we'll add some extra support like that. Let's see if these cables can actually be happy with each other. I'm not very good at building cable bridges, so bear with me. Remember, this is a train that has to cross, so it's going to be very heavy. Alright, let's let the thing settle down before we send our train. Certain doesn't seem, but seem to be a whole lot of stress, which is fine. Excellent. I love it. Excellent. Next level. Oh. 111,000. Iron and steel. Oh, yes. Here's another one. So, here we, again, we have a train to cross a gorge, but there are no anchor points. So, we're going to have to build from wherever the anchors are. Which happens to be at the very fucking bottom. Holy crap. So we're going to have to build up from down here. And that's our task. very good at doing this kind of stuff, so bear with me. If I do this poorly, don't uh, take it to mean that, that I'm not trying. Alright, so let's first get up here and build our roadway. Most likely the road's going to have to go from there to there. So let's get that organized. Okay. Now... God damn, this is going to be... Look how tall those legs have to be. For fuck's sake. Let's, uh... try to... merge our two legs down here. Like so, and see if we can't support each other more efficiently that way. I don't know, 
something stupid like that just to share the weight back and forth. Now this is probably going to have to be something incredibly stupid like this. Just a bunch of triangles on top of each other, right? And then maybe some side supports like that. Yeah, let's try a little design like that. See how well it'll do. Oops. Okay, so the general thing looks like it probably be... Okay, so it's not as sturdy as I thought it might be. Steel. Yeah, with steel it's fine. Looks like some of these are pretty stressed. I'll replace them with steel as well. Yeah. Oh yeah, much more sturdy. Oh yeah. So the top's gonna have to be iron, but the bottom might have to be steel. We'll see. Anyway. Let's get up to the top here. Let's see what we can do. God, that looks so weird. That's what she said. Wow, it actually works. That's amazing. can't reach that far, Jesus. Uh, we'll see, we'll see. Alright, so let's delete this. No, no, this. Delete. And then we're gonna copy-paste a... And let's just lightly kind of touch across. Oh my goodness, it stands up. <laughs> Run the test. Oh, it's a train. Oh no. Oh my god, it's a huge train. This is not going to end well. Oh goodness. I thought it would be cars, but it's not cars. Oh, shit. 
everything is going to break. not good, because the train has to go back the other way, doesn't it? Oh, but this is just a small one. Oh! <laughs> oh, goodness. Alright, well, let's do what we know we need to do, which is swap out some of these to heavier materials. Some of these looked bad, like this right here. Some of this looked bad. So let's swap this out just for shits and giggles. Uh, this we can actually change to a deck piece. You know what? This I think we're going to change like that. See if that might be a little better. No? That might help. Well, we'll try something like that. We'll see how it goes. That might actually help quite a bit. Alright, so let's delete some of this. Like that. And then up at the top as well. Oh, we already did the top. Yeah, we give it a run. Go, little train, go. problem we have is that second train, it doesn't weigh as much, but it it goes so fast that when it hits the ramp, it just does devastating effects. Devastating. Alright, so we're going to have to go slow. I want to see what happens here. Is it this one? Okay, no big deal. We change that one out. Oops. There. All right. Look at that beautiful bridge. this time. Oh, the train is actually falling through the track. Huh. If we add more track on either end, it'll s not do that. Like that. Fuck, I don't know. I didn't know the train could fall through the track like that. That was pretty crazy. Please don't fall through the track.
make it this time. He's falling through the track, but I guess we could play around a little bit, see if we can't make uh, things a little more nice for him while he's here. any impact at all other than adding more cost and adding more weight. But hey, it's worth a shot. It's better than doing nothing. Here's hoping for the best. Stupid train. Why do you fall through the track? If this train doesn't fall through the track, the fuck's your problem? Yep, we're falling through again. Oh, damn it. Look at that. Why? Oh, he might make it. He might make it. Nah, he's stuck. Well, I'm deeming this test as broken. It's not our bridge that's broken, it's the damn test. He made it! Yes! And the bridge promptly fell over, parts of it, but fuck it, that test is broken. Alright, this is a iron and steel car bridge. Ah, uh, okay, see what happens here? Is the road actually stops before the anchor points. So we can't just carry on our merry way like this, because it just won't work. Not good enough. So we're gonna have to do something like this. And then these two end pieces will flop down on the road, allowing the cars to climb up. But just like the trains, the cars will have difficulty doing this. For some reason, they can't figure out how to do it right. They're like, I see the road, but I can't seem to find it. I'm like, dude, you're a car. Find the fucking road, or God help me, I'll kill you. That's actually how the conversations usually go in this game. All right, so let's see if we can't copy and flip. Will it stand? And you can see the max strain is along the top arch and a little bit along the middle arch as well. But most of this stuff is just extraneous material. So, let's, oops, let's do something about this quote-unquote extraneous material by cheaping it up and getting rid of cross beams. Make everything much lighter. And uh, same thing down here. Probably just do the same thing down here, actually like so. So is that cheap enough? Does it still stand? Of course it still stands. Don't be silly. 
So now, well, first off, let's make this stronger. And the rest of it looks okay, really. Alright, so now we have to find a way to connect it all to the actual road. I guess this will work. Let's see if it can hold up this much weight. Cross your fingers. It can! Oh my god, look how red it is. But it can hold it, so let's send the, the cars or whatever's coming. Hooray! Hooray! We win! High five, all everybody. High five. That is an excellent, excellent bridge, and we threw it together in no time flat. Excellent bridge. Love it. Next. So, what we have here is a train drawbridge. Except we're only given one side to go from. So this could get interesting. We have a support underneath, so they probably want us to push part of the bridge up, up upward. Okay. Well, let's build our deck first. Let's just do something super simple so we can see where the uh, what type of train it is and where the uh, boat comes from, that sort of thing. Go, 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 train, go. It's a small little train, doesn't weigh that much. And where's the boat? The boat's right there. So we really only have to move these two pieces out of the way. That's it. So that may be easy to do. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Hmm. We even have cables. Interesting. Yes, yes, yes. It doesn't do any good. <laughs> I'm trying to think. What are we supposed to do? We're given these things on the side, which obviously for the cables, and then we're given heavy steel, which obviously means we're supposed to have cables this way up to heavy steel, and then cables down this way. And we're supposed to lift part of the bridge that way, or something. But then we're also given hydraulics, and we have this underneath here, so could do a whole lot of things. Hmm. This actually is all up in